Every morning, I get to walk down into a yarn shop. So it's a dream. I mean, it's a dream. Colors, the tactile experience, wools, um, alpaca, cashmere. They're just, they're wonderful. They're heavenly to feel. I learned how to knit when I was in nursing school, which was better than 40 years ago. I worked intensive care and downtime, we were allowed to knit a little bit, especially night shift when patients sleep. Once my children grew up and moved out, I had a lot of extra time, had more income. Two of my sons suggested that I open a yarn shop because they knew how much I love knitting. I want people to get into the store and once they get in here, they see what they can make. Over the years, I've learned so much too from other knitters that come in the shop, customers, what's worked for them, what hasn't worked for them, what they like, what they don't like. Both yarns to the back. And, you know, I've knitted forever, but did not know other knitters. You know, there was no, there was no networking system. There just wasn't any way to find. And now there is because people come here. What's been wonderful for me is to have this community of friends that I never, ever, ever would have met. And it's, they're valuable friendships now. And I think because at the phase I am in my life, it's more important to me because I do have time now for friends. So I have time, but if I didn't have this knitting community, I'd have time and that would be all. I love the sound of the click of a knitting needle. It's a meditative experience. It's um, my Valium. It calms me down. Kind of takes you to just another, another space. It's kind of the new yoga. I'm just ready to start the next project. Once I finish, that's where my mind is. When I'm getting finished with one, it's not like, a, a, oh, this is over, you know, sense of completion. It's like, oh, wow, now I get to start on something else. Right now, because I have a new grandchild who happens to be a girl, it's wonderful because I just knit everything. Since Violet is close in Pittsburgh, I can see that she's gonna, she doesn't know it yet, but she'll, she'll be a knitter. I still have like a long list of things, of, of projects that I want to start. I will not live long enough to complete them. <laughs>